the winner of this match will qualify for the final 32. The loser will go into loser's qualification, so it's not all doom and gloom for the loser. Basically, you get two bites at the cherry, two lives from this point. It's a nice place to be. Race to nine. Alternate break. So, so I'm sure you got yourself a little drink there, a little 20 minute break we had from our previous match. A lot of quality players in the room now playing and there is Carlo Biardo the current US Open nine ball champion you can see on that score right behind him 2-0 he's up right now that's pretty quick as well because we've only just started so <laughs> he is not messing around and you can see the man sat to his right that's Kopi Nyi He's playing on the table just in the distance. All winners qualification matches these now. Chang Yu Lung, he's playing Jeffrey DeLuna. What a match that promises to be. Robbie Capito playing Kyle Amarotto. Yeah, as you said, it was you get further along this tournament, it's just going to be higher and higher skill level competition, and a lot of these big namers are going to have to play their best game because. Uh oh, look at that cue ball! It's staying away from the pocket. Okay. Nine ball stayed still right in the middle though. Didn't even move. So just playing a defensive safety shot there, maybe trying to get the cue ball behind the eight, but his main focus looked like it was going to be getting a good one ball. So this is Do Te Kien from Vietnam. Wanted to get behind the five ball there. Didn't quite have enough legs. Looks like Ibrahim is going to have a good shot on the one ball. Might just stop it there for the two. Oh, very nice. Played a little bit of a follow shot to bump the three. a lot of movement when he delivers the cue that's never a good thing so we're going to see how this pans out pay attention to this and this is the type of shot where You've got to stay still. So let's just have a look at the body movement. Oh, it's disappeared. <laughs> just going to want to use a little bit of bottom inside spin to come out came out enough but would have liked to have been a little bit more now he's gonna have to stretch maybe even use a bridge yep he's calling for the bridge now probably gonna want to send the cue ball down table come behind the eight ball
Ooh, almost overcut it, but just got enough. He bumped into the eight in a very favorable position, leaving the eight ball right in the pocket. Can do pretty much anything he wants with this cue ball now to get shape for the cue, for the nine, which again did not move since the, since the break. There you go. Okay, a little bit fortunate at the end of this rep, but the main thing for Ibrahim is he's 1 0 up. Absolutely. Eddie, I'm guessing you're not familiar with either player. You know, I'm not actually. Um, but I think after today's, we will be familiar with both players. I mean, they made it to the winner's round, so they're obviously playing high caliber pool. But this is the first time I'm, I've seen either one of these players play live. All winner's side action happening at the moment. This is 6 p.m. round. If you win here, you qualify the final 32 96 players started that was Carlo Biardo just walking across the screen he's the current US Open champion and the US Open championships is not far away that will be October the 10th running through to the 15th the Harris Resort in Atlantic City tickets I believe are still available but there's not many left especially for the finals day so if you want to head out there and sweat one of the most historic pool tournaments in the world head over to matchroompool.com and come and sweat the action and see if Carlo Biado can defend that title Two ball falls, and he's got a good shot on the one. Yeah, playing the cut break. That always works well. Scanning the table, see what the path looks like for him. Don't see any major problem balls. Just going to have to have the right touch on this one to keep the cue ball down table while giving him a little bit of an angle for the four to the five. Looks like he's trying to stun the ball here. He did, but when you do that, it makes the shot a little bit more difficult. And he just missed it. Yeah, he missed it bad as well. <laughs> Ibrahim bin Amir. I'm sure he's played a lot of pool in his time. and He'll know how to make it difficult for a player to beat him. He'll just keep things tight. He's not going to... You know, take chances mm -hmm. he looks very comfortable at the table and it's only been one rack but it doesn't seem like he's afraid of anything that his opponent gives him Decent kick shot. Oh, never quite sure where they're going to end up overall. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been. Could have been a lot better. <laughs> that just shows you the gap he's dealing with. Got to be careful of double hit. Well, I think that was a foul. 
it is a foul, yeah. You come off too quick. You could just tell the way the cue ball sort of bounced across the table. The double hit was on, so well spotted the referee. And I think Ibrahim actually owned up to it as well, so fair play to him as well. Good to see good sportsmanship. Absolutely. You know, you, I've been in Singapore about three years, and i got to say that's one thing I noticed from the beginning. Good sportsmanship. Yeah, and I think in the few matches I've commentated, and I've seen all the players own up to when they feel like they've been a little bit lucky. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I've noticed. Absolutely. Like, they, they almost feel bad if the safety was accidental or, you know, it's like, hey... Apologies. It's not I never used to apologize. <laughs> I used to just laugh. I thought that was funny. If you just laugh, really get under the opponent's I, skin. I, I was going to say, maybe that was a, a different factor. Maybe you're, you're going for that intimidation or that uh, annoyance factor. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what it... Can you recall a moment, Carl, where that really got underneath someone's skin? Um, Maybe it worked in your favor? Not off the top of my head, no. Probably probably worked against me rather than for <laughs> me in the end. <laughs> Jacked up a little bit over the seven. It's going to be a good stroke here to get back for the seven. Doesn't need to be too cute. Don't want to draw it into the pocket. Just needs a little bit. Ah, see, that's the thing. He jacked up over a ball. Definitely makes the shot a little bit harder. And looks like he gave a pretty good shot to Ibrahim. Good shot on the seven to get nice shape on the eight. Probably just going to roll this forward a little bit and come back to up table one rail. Shape for the nine and might have ourselves a 2-0 lead here. Oh, no, he just stopped it. Like I said, he's not being cute with the ball. He's really just taking the table, gives him, and really playing nice, easy pull. Not forcing the cue ball too much. Yeah, just like that. Ibrahim Bin Amir from Malaysia. He's 2-0 up. Let's have a little look around the arena, see if we can get some scores. Carlo Biado. He's 3-1 up. Well, make that 5-1. Scoreboard just refreshed, so he's absolutely flying. Coping Yi, he's 2-0 up. He's going good guns. Loho Sum, who we've seen play on our feature table, he's 2-1 up. And that is Carlo Biado's table. Yeah, I got the, uh, the lucky opportunity to see his opponent, Luk Dong Tien, play. And he was surprisingly sharp I mean he was really shooting well in practice so you know Carlo must be on one of his best games to be up 5-1 I mean like you said he is a reigning champion so no surprise there but he is definitely playing a worthy opponent I mean as you mentioned to be in the winner's side at this stage you must be a worthy opponent right unless you've had a nice draw <laughs> That can happen. No disrespect to any players, but gotta call it as it as it comes, it can happen. Fair enough. I ain't gonna sit on the fence. <laughs> yeah, I believe Carlo had a first round bye. I think that's right, so maybe a, an easier road than most, but still gotta earn it. Look at this. Did he find the gap? Did he, he find the gap? I think he may just have done. 
I'm telling you, I'm impressed with Abraham's game. I know it's only been two racks, but he is very in control. Yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy watching Abraham just because he moves so much on the shot. And you, I don't think you're going to quite know what's going to happen next. <laughs> and I think when the balls are not quite there and he may not fancy it, I think he's going to just hold back a little bit. And 61 years of age. Mm-hmm. I wonder how long he's been playing this game. He knows some moves on the 9 by 5 That is for sure. Yeah, that's a great question. I wonder how long. I have a feeling he's been he's had a pool in his hand a pool cue in his hand since since birth, you know. <laughs> the way he's been playing. Look at that shot too. Great shape on the six. Did he leave himself enough of an angle to get back to seven? I think so. A lot of left spin here. Just get off that eight. Just enough. Gonna have to play with a bit of left again. He wants to try and get close to the eight. Even if he lands just off straight, it would be fine. And look at this. Just look at this. This is okay. <laughs> Referee's just checking if the eight's touching the rail. I can only presume she's checking just in case he did a miscue or something. The cue ball just rolled onto the eight because he's guaranteed to hit a rail and pop the ball the way he's playing. And how's he landed on the nine? Well, he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and there it is. It's three zero. Ibrahim bin Amir, it's all been about him. His opponent, though, taking has missed a couple of balls. Three racks to zero. Ibrahim has taken advantage of every opportunity he's had at the table. And he is looking like a contender today. I mean, if I know we're already underway in the tournament, but if I had a chance to pick a dark horse, he just might be my pick. Remember, whoever loses this match is not out. They will go over to the loser's side of the draw. These two players are undefeated, so you'll go over to loser's qualification. Robbie Capito is losing three racks to two. Kyle Amarotto from the Philippines. James Aranis, another young gun from the Philippines, just starting out. His match against Derwin, still 0-0. Zero, zero. They'll take you in to break. He trails three racks to zero. Looks like he pockets the four and the two. One ball has a clean shot. Nice break. This is what he needs. He needs a break and run to get back in this rack. Let Ibrahim know he's still here. Referee just removing the template. If the players were practicing, they would never get the template removed. They'd just leave it there, run the rack, and just play the ball. But in a match environment, it's funny how your brain works different. You just want to get rid of it off the table, which don't take the referees too long, just a few seconds, and away we go. Just feel like he's got to come with a break and run here. Absolutely. You 
can see the way he cues, he cues very fast back and forward. I've never really liked that motion. I prefer it to be a little bit smoother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. he obviously didn't want to hit the seven. He's a little frustrated with himself that he did. There you get a good look. Look at the cue, how fast he pulls it back and forward and stops. Yeah. Nicely done there to find that gap on the way through and on the way back. And now he's in prime position. He looks strong to get off the mark in this match. That shot was almost unusual, like you're saying, how fast he's pulling back the cue stick, but then how soft he stroked it at the last second to kind of hold the cue ball for the six ball. The way he's stroking it, you wouldn't have expected it to hold the way it did. Just a stop shot on the eight. Get lined up for the nine. This is pretty much academic. Make it a three, one. Three, one match. Nice run. Way to show Ibrahim, hey, don't sleep on me yet. I'm still here. Yeah, that will settle him down. It's always nice to win your first rack. Carlo Piado is flying. He's playing over on that side table where we keep getting a little look at. He's leading six. Wow. He is on fire. Wow. Robbie Capito ties the match up against Kyle Amarotto. That's 3 3. Coping Yee still at 2 0. There is Kyle Obiado breaking. <laughs> the Black Tiger. Fantastic player. All round. Great shot maker. Great vision. Great potter of the ball, great safety player. He's got all the attributes, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him doing some serious, serious damage in this year's Asian Open nine ball. Yeah, he's got a five rack lead and a shot on the one ball, a chance to make it seven to one here. Yeah, the way he controls the cue ball, just it's like he has it on a string. Anthony Raga, another young Filipino, he's playing Desmond Go. Anthony's leading five racks to four. Abraham has lost the cue ball on the break. But he does have a shot on the one. It's a long one. But he's, look at how he's got to get back down table here for this blue two. This is not going to be easy. Yeah, you called it. He had to put a little something special on that one ball. And by doing so just jarred it a little bit and rattled in the pocket. Gave Doyle a pretty nice angle on this one that should be pretty easy to come down table for the two. to avoid the corner, he's hit the rail. Cue ball's found the bottom rail though, so now it all depends on where the natural path of this cue ball is running in order to get position on the three. Well, 
not worked out okay because he could just miss the four and now he's snuck up past the three and now he's back in prime position. Just rolled it forward for the short side of the four. No problem there. Looks like he's just going to roll the cue ball forward for the five. He's putting bottom in the shot. It might want to come out. Yeah, sure enough. Coming two rails out for the five. We'll just play this forward a little bit. One rail back to the seven ball, right around where the five ball's at now. Nice shot. Yeah, we're just a couple balls away from from making this a 2-3 race. It's a nice response to a 3-0 start. <sighs> Spoke too soon. You keep doing that. You keep doing it. You're jinxing these players. <laughs> All right, I'll take that one. Commentator's curse once again. I got to say, though, 99 times out of 100, I don't see him missing that shot. No, it's just something about this arena and certain plays that we've seen just seem to be making mistakes. But I think overall as well, we're only on day two. We're still yet to see the big, big guns. We've seen Chang Yulung play mm -hmm. on this table. We haven't seen Carlo Biado. We haven't seen Kopin Chung or Kopin Yi. They're the guys who, if you said to me, pick five players and you have the rest of the field, mm -hmm. I'd pick my five, you have the rest of the field, and I'd be a happy man. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Don't forget Aloysius in that top five. Maybe in your top five. Oh, okay. I think you have uh, all of Singapore here. Might chase you out of the country if you don't put them in your top five. Maybe squeezes in at six. No, I'm only really joking. I'd have to properly look at the field. But you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, look, Carlo Biado, seven, two up. Johan Chua, eight, zero up. Wow. He's Yon. absolutely flying. He really is. 8-0. Well, we know he plays quick, but that is just simply ridiculous. We've only been playing 30 minutes, and he's on the hill. In an alternate break format, did you think you'd ever see a 9-0? I mean, not to say it is yet, but it could be. I, I did not expect that to happen today. Yeah, I hear you, especially when we know the break. He's laying out pretty easy. Carlo Biado again. At the table with some form of shot on the one ball. Just in the distance there we could see Aliusha's Yap's partner from the World Cup of Pool. Tolian Han. He's still going, he's still playing. Yes. Fifty year old from Singapore. What a great story that was when them two made the final <laughs> of the World Cup of Pool. One of my favourite events to to work on and watch and obviously I've played in it. and just think it adds so much drama and the fact that you play a shot each and you can never really settle. And There's always some great stories that come from the World Cup of Pool. Yeah, one thing that I loved about it so much is here in Singapore, we followed every single match, you know, and... and you know, we weren't 100% sure how far Singapore was going to get. But when they beat the American team, I'm telling you, everybody in Singapore knew about it. <laughs> and that's, that's a, something special, right? When the entire country kind of rallies around those two players, it, it's exciting. Yeah, and I think the fact that you have, obviously, Young Gun and Yap and 
and the older, wiser man. I think it was just really <laughs> a good, like, story. And they really did well there. In the end, of, of course, they lost out to Spain, but they didn't disgrace themselves in the final. They, Absolutely not. They made a game of it. Absolutely. Spain just played very well. Looks like the three ball goes by the five and Tote Keen has a pretty nice setup here. A little stop shot on the five. Curious to see how it's gonna get shaped here on the six. Looks like he's gonna try to draw and just miss the nine. Yeah, and he does successfully. Very nice. Gives himself a little angle to come up table for the seven in the side. Very smooth stroke. Just bottles it up a little bit to get himself a little closer for the eight. Slight little draw. Nothing too fancy. No need because he knows he can make this shot in his sleep. And he does. All right, so just like that, we've got a 4-2 match. Race to nine. And again, Dote Keen is saying, I'm still here. Don't sleep on me. This match is far from over. He looks calm, too. Not concerned, not worried. Just looking forward to getting back on the table. Still hard to see how this match is going to pan out. It's hard to see who is going to take the lead in this match and kick on. Ibrahim's kind of been there, but you just feel like there's another twist in this game. There you see the action from around this wonderful venue. Only been open four months. Yeah, not long at all. But uh, but the owners, KK, Chan, and uh, Charlene, they've, they've got a well-known reputation here in Singapore they have a couple pool halls and this is their latest installment and uh, you know one of my local favorites one of my places I, I like to play at the most again I've mentioned this before we've got APA of Singapore uh, amateur pool league that plays out of here on Monday nights and soon to be Tuesday nights but uh, this is a great place to play and I believe KK is still in the tournament so he's he's still in it I believe he's on the winner side I, I need to double check to say that but speaking of the winner side Look who just won 9-0. Johan Chua, we watched him yesterday on the feature table. He was running around the table. Today, maybe he's on a motorbike. 9-0 in 30 minutes. <laughs> Insane. It really is. So the owner of the pool room is in the winner's side. Yeah, I believe he is. How come we've only just found this out? What's going on here? <laughs> Speaking of running through racks, look at Jeffrey DeLuna. Well, the Filipinos are flying. He is seven racks up against Chang Yulong.
Yeah, so just double checking, and yeah, looks like KK is still on the winner's side. He won his first match, 9-7 to seven against Raymond Faraon. Happy to see that. Well, yeah, so he can clearly play the game if you're beating Raymond Faron from the Philippines. That is for sure. Well, yeah, actually, KK was number one in Singapore. He was a number one pool player for quite some time. This is the information I need. <laughs> the new kid on the block, the owner of the pool room, beating everybody, still in the winner's side. <laughs> you got all the information right next to you, Carl. Just got to ask. You just kept that one a secret. <laughs> it's only day two. I got to... Hold on to the secrets as long as I can. <laughs> it's the only way they keep me around for day three. <laughs> I'll be here till death. You'll have to scrape me out of this venue. Well, just like that, we turn around for a quick second to take a look at some of the other scores. And we see that uh, Dote Keen is already on the five ball with a pretty good chance of Oh, I say that, and he just fell a little bit short on the six ball. Let's see how he can stay at the table because he was on a roll to make this a 3-4 match. Not loving the shape he got there. I'm curious to see if he's going to find a safety here. Yeah, he's going to have to find a safety. That bank just looks to be too tough with that six ball sitting around the pocket like that. He might be taking it. Nope, he, he played the smart play, went for the defense. And a pretty good one it was. Yeah, very good safety shot there indeed. And he's not happy, he has to give up the table, but I got a feeling he'll be back up in no time. Looks like it might be the first time we see. Well, I thought Ibrahim was going to. Use a jump cue, but he's eyeing, eyeing the kick. seen a few missed balls in this match from Dolti Kian. We've seen another one and you can get back in a match but you just can't keep missing balls and throwing racks away. This match is all there for Ibrahim to keep the pressure on and just keep opening up these racks. It's 4-2 if he can steal this rack and go 3 clear again. That's going to hurt. Absolutely. Yeah, he's obviously frustrated himself. Not one you'd expect him to miss like that. By the way, we have another runaway chalk, but luckily this chalk fell off the table and didn't hit any cues, cue balls. <laughs> yeah, surely we're not going to see that again. <laughs> I don't think so. I hope not, at least. Nice use of the bridge to get shape on the eight there. done a fine job there of getting on that nine ball them shots can always land a little funny he's done well The 61-year-old veteran from Malaysia. He's 5-2 up. He's called a timeout. There you see, 5-2. A 
and it's a good time for a timeout. And on that note, we're going to take a little break. Stay tuned to see who can qualify for the last 32 in just a few minutes' time. You think you know Singapore? It's time to reimagine. You think it's all skyscrapers? Then what's this? And this. And this. And this. You think it is one island? Then what's this? And this. You think we're a city that never stops? Then what's this? And this. And this. Singapore. You think it's a country? A city? An island? Think again! It's so much more! You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA pool league today. Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit poolplayers.com today. Back to the action. Don't take in to break.
breaking from the left side of the table. That means he's trying to tee the one ball up. Over on that corner, near where his hand is. As he trails 5-2 in this match. And that three ball just followed the cue ball everywhere the cue went and just unfortunately hooked him behind the three so therefore he doesn't have a quality shot on the two. Only scored two points. That's why he sat back down in his chair. Oh, oh look at could that. get through yeah. to the two. And if he can roll the cue ball forward now, which I believe he can, that means he would get position on the purple four. So this is a good chance. Another two, uh, another two shots and. He could really give himself a good chance to open up a big lead here. It's all about the shot from the purple four to this orange five now. If we can navigate through these balls and get on the five, what a chance this is. That looks okay. Yeah, not bad at all. Could maybe just play off the one rail, come down anywhere the centre spot of the table. It's going to be a little bit of a stretch. Is he loading this up the other way? He is, you know. He is. I didn't like this. I didn't like it at all. Agreed. It seemed like one rail was the easy shot to do, the conventional shot. But he decided to load up, go two rails. A little unnecessary, in my opinion. Let's see uh, Let's see what Dote Keen has to do here. Because he is towards the rail. It is going to be a little difficult if he wants to jack up on this. is not looks like he's trying to play top and maybe come a couple two rails played the cross bank probably more the safety shot mm -hmm. in the back of his mind making sure he gets a good orange five ball yeah I don't mind that nice two-way shot you know had he pocketed the the uh, five ball he would have had a shot on a six or he loses his opponent down table <laughs> yeah, he's been fortunate there. He didn't want to put the orange five over the pocket and cue ball could have finished anywhere. Just like you said about that sportsmanship, though. Ibrahim gives a little wave saying, my bad, I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. He'll fancy pot in this ball. And if he can stop the cue ball there, he would probably leave a pot on the green six. Well, he tried to draw the cue ball back a little bit. It was a cheeky effort. Could take the bank on. Oh, he's actually looking at a thin cut. Mm -hmm. That camera angle made it look like that shot was never on but he's had a look so it's either the thing cut the bank or he can play a good safety could get the cue ball back over towards the seven if he takes this cut he's gonna have to really hit it because i don't think he's gonna be able to slow it down it's gonna have to come all the way around back yep oh well what a great pop that was and to find the center yet yeah. The middle pocket's always there. Yeah. You've got to class that as a bad shot, but you would never have envisioned just going straight in the pocket like that. 
Yeah, it was really tough because even if it doesn't go in the pocket, I don't see him getting shape on the seven either. But like you said, good shot pocketing the six. Just unfortunate that Q goes dead center in the pocket of the side. With three balls left on the table, two of them pretty close to the pocket. I feel pretty good about Ibrahim's chances here. Came out just enough to get shaped there for the nine. It was a gift in the end for Ibrahim, but the main thing is he won't care as he slots the nine ball home to take a 6-3 lead. 6-2 lead. Yep, that's correct. 6-2. Well, well, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have an extra jacket in Lone Ibrahim, he looks a little chilly out there. Yeah, obviously it's very humid. You know this over here, so the aircon's blaring. And mm -hmm. for some reason, as the day gets later into the evening, it just seems to get a little bit colder, the aircon. Coping Yi won, 9 1 over Singapore's Tan Yong Wei. So he's through. That's another big player, another big monster who's looking to snap this event off. And then Jeffrey De Luna has beat Chang Yu Lung, 9 racks to one. I'm not sure if it's an updated score yet, but I mentioned on table six we do have KK, the owner of Aspar Recreational Center playing. He's down a little bit right now, four to one. Against Vietnamese Tat Dui King. It's going to be a good match. It's on the winner's side still. Oh, does not look like three points. Well, it's not three points. That's why he is sat back down. I'll explain it again in case anyone just tuned in. They are playing the three-point rule on the break. You get a point for pocketing the ball and a point for the ball crossing the line, the head string. So Ibrahim only made two points. It's loss of turn. It's a good pot, but the cue ball's caught the green six. And now it's going to have to be a safety shot. Trying to lock the cue ball up behind the orange five, and he's done well here. Look at the oh, line. Look at that. That's a nice defense there. This is going to be a tough one. He's eyeing all the angles. Oh, it looks like he's just going to make the runner a little bit more difficult. That's 61 years of age, <laughs> experience paying off. He knew the hit on the two was unlikely. So let's make life a little difficult. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, of course, the three foul rule is in effect here. What do you think, Carl? There's opportunities here. Would you try to take a shot at that I could see why you would do that but at the same time this safety shot he wants to get the two ball up near the five near the two balls 
if he gets it up near the two balls well he'll kick at this ball looks quite a big ball yeah like you've mentioned before you don't really want that two ball as close to the rail as possible you kind of want it out towards the center of the table making it a harder kick shot the only downside here is if he if he goes and kicks at this the same path where he sent the two ball lens off the right hand side table yeah off this right hand side rail where he's aiming if he does hit this he might break out the two balls mm -hmm. and of course he doesn't want to do that that's why he tied them up he needs to hit a rail but that's my question is he going to hit a rail he sure is actually well he is going to be delighted with the outcome of that he really is what a shot yeah absolutely he didn't break the two balls out like you mentioned he did hit a rail phenomenal kick shot by Ibrahim I think surely if he would have missed that rail given the second foul we probably would have seen an attempt for a three foul He will probably kick two rails again at first glance. Got to be careful, the cue ball can scratch in the top left pocket. May hit it this time. <laughs> Wait for it. Very close, but nope, that constitutes as a foul. No touch. Both tries. Yeah, and it's three consecutive fouls as well. It's not correct. Is this a combo? Is uh, lining up? No, I don't think so. I would be absolutely surprised. Wow. You called it, and I did not see that coming. Wow. Yeah, it was dead set, so that has really worked out well. And I'm just wondering if Ibrahim knew that, because if he didn't, well, he had to make sure he hit the two ball. You know, with those combos, it's so hard to gauge where the the two ball is going to, the object ball is going to go afterwards. But that one fell perfectly next to that corner pocket and well executed. I thought that was a risky shot. Worked out favorably. Something tells me he's still in this match. Yeah, it's not quite over. Yeah, I think if he can get back near level, I think he's still going to have a chance to go on and win this match. Nice draw shot for the nine. Should have no problem with this one. All right. So it's a 3-6 race. Not over yet by a long shot. Let's see if he can get back in this. He's got a little bit more confidence after that wreck, I'm sure. James Aranis is through. He wins nine wrecks to five over Irwin. Also, Anthony Raga from the Philippines. He has also qualified over Desmond Go.
Over on table three, we've got ourselves a match, right? Over with Robbie Capito. He's tied six to six with Kyle Amoroto. Yeah, we've been waiting for some hill hill action, and that one seems to be going all the way. Looks like it, yeah. Not sure if you've mentioned it yet, but it looks like Anthony Raga has uh, finished on top, nine to six against Desmond Go. All right, Dalte Keen for the break. See if he can do a break and run here and get back into this match. Needs to make three points, which he has done. And he's going to have a shot on the one. Yeah, it's not a bad rack. If he can get this one past the eight, which doesn't appear to be a problem. The two's kind of a sitting duck there in the corner. Yeah, it's a potential break and run for sure. position for the three in the same pocket or is he trying to find the center of the table he is oh. that's okay Similar shot as the previous one. He'll swing it round two rails for the centre. Doesn't want to over it this though because of where the seven is. And that looks okay. Yeah, it does. Thinking he's got enough space to play this forward. Nope, he's going to end up drawing it back. Just enough to miss the nine and come out centre table for shape on the six. Just like that. Good shot. Outside spin here. Come two rails. Maybe want to be a little bit further down. Take the side pocket. Now he's taking an extra look at it because he's probably going to want to hit this one pretty full to come around table for the eight. A lot of outside spin again. Coming three rails. Nicely done. Eight ball nice and easy. Maybe a little bit further than he wanted, but shouldn't be a problem. Looks like a pretty straight line. Yeah, I think at first he was worried that the cue ball was going to land on the rail. That tells you he's not feeling too good. <laughs> but he does have this nine ball to just pull within two, which he does. And he now trails six racks to four. So he is back in this match from 6-2 to 6-4. It's all to play for. Absolutely.
This is Don Kwok Hong. He is 7 4 up. Winner's side action. Looks like that's Amway Porn Choti Pong on the back table who just pocketed the nine. Yeah, that was actually totally on hand. Ah. Lucius Yap's partner in oh, the World yes, Cup. Of, of course, of course. Thank you, thank you. Back to the action on centre court. Do Tien Kian. Well, he's at the table. Again. Again. Wow. Just a quick update from table three in that close encounter between Robbie Capito and Kyle Amarotto. Capito takes the lead by one. Seven, six. We'll keep you posted on that result. It's going to the death, that match. Red three ball is very tricky here indeed. Is he gonna try and break it out or do something? Hard to see what he tried to do, but it was always gonna be difficult. Mm -hmm. I think he was just trying to maybe find some kind of gap and then he was gonna play a safety. He's gone straight for the jump cue. He's not even brought his pull cue round. I don't really play. Well, he could kick off the top rail and come back down. But looking at that, I don't see how you're going to get safe kicking off the one rail. So maybe forced into this jump shot. It's just trying to hit it just off full. Keep the cue ball down here. But it might bounce off this rail because there's not much of a gap there. So this is tricky. He's actually done really well there. Very nice. Even if he's left an edge, I mean, he's got to be happy with the outcome there. Yeah, absolutely. Kyle Marotto. Has tied the match up in no time. 7-7 seven, seven against Capito. Well, you said we might have a hill hill match there. It's sure looking like it. Just leaving a three ball against the rail. Nothing too fancy, but not really giving Dote Keen much to work with. Yeah, just biding himself some time. Knew it was difficult to get a very good safety, so just state the table an extra shot or two and at least make your opponent play a shot, and you never know. And look, this is what may happen. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what may happen. Does the four ball go in the corner past the six? Yeah, the way he played the three ball, it must. Looks like it does. Curious to see how he's going to come around for the five. He could play it where he pushes the eight ball out of the way, or he can looks come back around with bottom English, which is it looks like he's trying to do. I'm curious if he's going to end up hitting the seven ball or not. Well, a little harder and he might have had the shot he wanted. Now he's tucked up behind the eight. Felt like he just didn't put enough on that ball, yeah. Yeah, he was obviously trying to hit one of the balls half ball just to leave a pop, but 
Ibrahim's missed a bit of a trick here. He started to to just fall off the pace of this match, and Dote Ken has not been performing good at all. So this just feels like whoever wins this match, it isn't going to be convincing. They're going to fall over the line. He's kicking one rail, maybe two. Needs a bit of luck. You know, not to say that that was a shot he should have jumped at, but I haven't seen him pull the jump cue out yet today. Well, and there was a couple of times he could have, but he opted for the kick. This one again, he opted for the kick. It, it didn't hit. Not to say it was the, the wrong shot by any means, but I find it a little curious that he hasn't busted out the jump stick at all yet. Soft stroke. We might have a 5 6 game here. <laughs> Somehow, yes. I think we may just. I don't know how, but. No kidding. I think it was just 6 2 a minute ago, wasn't it? Slightly under it, the cue ball again here. So the cue ball is going to be running away from him. It's going to be going near the side pocket probably just hit him before the side so this is going to be a delicate one mm -hmm. that is there's a bigger angle there, there than that camera angle tells you so you might have to roll this slow what a shot yeah and he didn't look like he liked the shot did he but in the end it's gone in wet and clean as well maybe he just was disappointed with the shot he left himself on the eight Wow, we got ourselves a match here. At 6-2, it looked like Ibrahim was running away with this, but this match is far from over. Yeah, he's well and truly back in this match now, Doty again, 6-5 down. Robbie Cabito is on the hill first. He's playing Kyle Amarotto from the Philippines. And Robbie Cabito... Well, his fellow buddy from Hong Kong, Loho Sum, has made it through in his match. Okay, so Dote Keen has been able to come back from 6-2, and now he's got the break at 5-6 with a chance to even this up at 6-6. It's getting pretty exciting here. It started off like a runaway for Ibrahim, but not any longer. I mentioned the owner, Aspire Recreational Center, KK Chen. He's playing on table number six. Unfortunately, he is down seven to three, but he's still in the winner's circle. So even if this continues to go the other way, he's still very much in the tournament. But seven three is not over. He can come back. All right, so at this table, it looks like he might have a shot on the one. It's going to be... A thin cut if he does. He's getting down like he's going to have to put a little bit of spin on this ball. Yeah, he's jacked up here. Nice shot. 
Looks like he stopped it nicely for a shot on the two ball as well. This is a possible break and run for him. It'd be really nice to see him get back in this match and tie it up at 6-6. Looks like he's putting bottom English. You're going to see him come around two rails for shape on the three. Just like that. Pretty nice shot. Nice shape on the three. Shouldn't be a problem when he comes out for the five here. I, I expect him to hit a nice delicate shot here. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, he's just got to remember that side pocket is there. Five to the six. Six to the seven. Anywhere in the centre for the seven ball would be okay, but these next two shots. Yeah, exactly. He wants to give himself kind of the right angle on the five to be able to get back to the six because that eight ball is... This big blocker. I don't scared, wasn't he? Scared yeah. of the side pocket there. He was. I mean, he wanted to hit it delicately, but obviously not that delicately. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll see a safety here. A little frustration. He'd like to be at the table. But smart play, you know. Yeah, I think overall in this match, he knows he's, he's back in it, but I think he's just been disappointed with his full performance. It looks like the five actually goes past the eight, and I think Ibrahim's attempting it because he will break out the six. Oh, no, he's going for the defense. He needs to slow down a bit. Good shot, that yeah. really is a good shot. I think the fact that the table is playing a little slower actually helps the players with certain shots because that shot there on a super quick table is just so hard to judge. On this table, it seems to just hold up a bit easier. He's playing off the edge. Cue ball needs to keep going. Oh, and that is a nice shot as well. And Beautiful. Been very impressed with the safety play of a lot of these players that I've seen over two days, two days or three days, two <laughs> days. It feels like three, but it's only been two. <laughs> yeah, two days over the over the two days of of commentating and watching. But you're right; they're very patient players. They're really not trying to force anything; just taking what the table gives them, playing some defense, and waiting for the better shot. Right. Maybe he tried to pop the seven. I think he's got to leave the bridge there because <laughs> I think Doe's going to need it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, nobody's he's calling for it. That. Don't put it away. I want it. Don't put it away. <laughs> the attempt is going for another defense here trying to use the nine ball as a blocker which he has got but the one rail kick is 
really on here for Ibrahim. He can get in behind this ball, leave the cue ball at the bottom, and just get that five ball moving up towards the top. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I think we've gone back and forth at least six times on the five ball. No one's really trying to take that chance. They're just playing smart, methodical pool. Seven ball is going to be a big ball here. Sure is. Just big enough. Yeah, it's okay. I think he's going to try to get the cue ball behind the eight. May not be as easy as it looks, though. Look at that. Oh, very nice. Brilliant shot. That's the shot of the match for me. <laughs> if it earns him ball in hand, I couldn't agree more. to spin on this ball. Wow. Successful hit. Yeah, it kind of makes his opponent play a shot, doesn't it? The fact that the cue ball's finished there. If the cue ball is naturally hitting the left side rail once he pots the ball, that is good news. You can just focus on the pot now. Doesn't have to worry about the scratch. Looks like it's going to hit halfway up that left rail, so he's okay. Tough pot, though. Yeah, tough pot indeed. And he missed it by a long way. And I think Ibrahim's going to have to play safe. I don't believe he can pot that. In the side, is he looking at the bottom corner? He can't be, surely. I think the safety's <laughs> there. Yeah, I think you have to play safe. I mean, getting shape on the six ball is hard enough, especially for trying to go all the way down. Just take the safe. Take what the table gives you. There it is. Did a good job, too, coming... Get, bringing the five ball off the rail far enough makes us a hard shot, hard kick. We'll probably just go one rail. <laughs> the air con is blowing. That's why we're seeing it in the jacket go on. Got to get this cue ball hopping quick. It was a missed cue. Yeah. Well, we've been wondering how either Dole or Ibrahim is going to get on to the six ball. And I think we figured out how now with ball in hand on the five. Ibrahim has, Ibrahim has a good opportunity to get on to the six ball from here. A lot of players would play this five ball in the left center pocket. And just roll the cue ball through mm -hmm. off the one rail. You couldn't really fail doing it that way. I think he heard you. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. I think it's a little bit easier of a shot to put, just follow. But that'll work too. Yeah, that'll work. He's got a nice angle. He can just float down the center of the table.
Well, it's not exactly the shape he wanted, but if he does pot this ball, he will have a shot on the eight. Yeah, that's a cue ball run a little bit far. I think so. He's got a kind of overstretch here a little bit, doesn't it? No, he's okay. He's not too bad. At least he's just got to pop the ball. Just like that. Good yeah, speed. He's done it, hasn't he? He's mm -hmm. done a good job. It just looks like he's not done a good job because there's so much body movement. But <laughs> the main thing is the ball is going in the hole. Cue ball needs to slow down here. The cue ball needs to slow down. We're going to get another look. Yes, he's overrun that mm -hmm. by a long way, by two feet. Yeah, it did not need to be that far down table, obviously. Could have been almost anywhere on the opposite side of the nine ball and have a good shot. I was trying to really thin cut this in the corner pocket. I think he'll make it, but he made it a little bit harder than he needed to. Let's see. Beautiful shot. Nice cut. Takes the rack. Just when Dote Keen was looking like he was going to come and tie this up 6-6, six to six, Ibrahim makes it 7-5. Two racks to go. One of the closer matches we've seen today. The results just come in. Tang Ten Kien. Vietnam has beat Mohammed Sharif nine racks to five. Let's just have a little look around the arena. So here are my Singaporean players here. We've got David Bala and Tolian Han tied at 5-5. So it's a good match here. I bet both these players are familiar with each other, played in local tournaments. So it's exciting to see them play here. I'm sure this will be bragging rights for weeks or months to come. All right, Ibrahim back at the break. He's got a seven to five lead, trying to extend it here. Pockets the three ball. Struggling on the break though, isn't it? That's another dry break, a legal break rather, not dry. Didn't make the three points. You said it, another, right? It's, he's had a couple of them this, this match. Straight away. He's let his opponent back at the table. bit short on that one he still has a shot in a three in the side but I don't believe that's what his intention was there want to come back around for the same pocket nonetheless a little stop shot and he'll be okay for the four ball just feel like if Ibrahim's going to win this match I think this is the rack he needs I think if he loses this rack, I think he goes on to lose the match. What 
this is the shot here. Needs to come with it a little bit to get back on the six. And he falls a bit short here. I mean, he still has a shot on the six. But I think he would have liked to have been about six inches more to the center of the table. They say nine ball is a game of angles. He has an angle. <laughs> it's a big angle. But he's playing it into the right side of this pocket. As long as you catch the rail. You can catch this rail probably 12 inches up and it's going to slide in. Oh, he's played it nicely. He's got another angle here so he can roll the cue ball forward off the bottom rail. Just get a little closer to the eight ball. Again, I just feel like this is the rack. Cue ball needs to slow down. A lot of players would have tried to get the cue ball closer to the other side, to the right hand side rail, and then play for the nine at the bottom left. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to have to swing the cue ball back over the other side. Oh, and he needs the bridge, so yeah, things I, could get funky here. As you said it, I, I thought he would have put a little inside spin on that one to get a better shot on the eight. But. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? More than one way to run a table. Well, the bridge is moving because he's not got it flat on the table. This could all go drastically wrong in a minute. But he plays unconventional, doesn't he? And he's perfect on the nine. <laughs> Ibrahim Minimir, he's on the hill. Eight racks to five. What a match this has turned out to be. We have had it all. And it's his turn to put the jacket on. He's <laughs> feeling the, the aircon as well. Let's talk about some up and coming events. This is the Asian Nine Ball Open. We have the PRP Nine Ball Open coming up in the middle of September, then Slovenia Open, Euro Tour, beginning of October, then the Sankasen Nine Ball Open in New Jersey, 6th till the 8th. Then the big one, the US Open Nine Ball Championships, Carlo Biado went through with ease about 30 minutes ago here in. Singapore, he is the current US Open nine ball champion. Can he retain his trophy 10th till the 15th of October? Tickets are still available. Head over to matchroompool.com. Straight after that is the International Open in Virginia, 30th till the 5th. Then we have another Euro Tour. This is all part of the Matchroom Pool calendar. These are all ranking events. These will get you ranking points. Just like this event, run by the APF, sanctioned by Matchroom Pool. Can Do Take In stay in this match? Can he come back as he trails eight racks to five? Got a nice kick there. Eight ball in the corner pocket. Oh. Now it's legal. He's made two points and the ball's gone in, so he will stay at the table. Winner's side qualification match, so the loser of this match will live to fight another day. They will come back tomorrow to play in the loser's qualification round, so they can still qualify for the final 32. As soon as we have 32 players left in the field, it then moves to single elimination. This will be a nice little test here. He's going to have to draw back and find the window. 
So he drew back a little more than he wanted to. Still definitely has a shot on the four. Very nice smooth stroke. Just barely missing the five ball, giving him a nice shot on the five. Can play a little bit of bottom, come back for the six. Nicely done. He's got options here. Might want to just stop the ball and take the seven where it lies. Yeah, just 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 a little bit of drawback. Take the seven there. Didn't need to get fancy with it and come around table. Should just come around two rails and have a nice shot on the round ball. Didn't go in clean, did it? But it's gone in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Worried me there for a minute. Why would it go in clean the way this match has panned out? <laughs> You just know there's going to be more drama. The nine ball banishes Do Taekian. He's just two behind as he trails 8 6. Who is going to win this winner's qualification round? So, we've got ourselves a match here. We've got Ibrahim breaking on the hill. Can he break and run and finish us out? He's had a few challenges this breaks this match. You know, he's unfortunately had a few t opportunities where he could have finished us out, but he ended up just not getting the three points. Let's see if he can do it here, though. I think there's a little bit of pressure that Dota Kian is putting on him saying don't forget about me i'm still here let's see if he finishes this out all starts with this break interesting bridge on the break oh and look at that cue ball right into the corner pocket well just what he didn't want you know Rack is fairly open. Looks like the three easily passes by the six. Not really a cluster there. I don't have many concerns with this rack, so it's possible we could be seeing a seven, eight. Couple drawback shots here. Nice touch on this one. Looks to be exactly where he wanted. This might be the hardest shot of the match just to get good shape on the four. Match and then the game. And played it relatively conservatively. I think the few times we've seen him speed up a little bit seems to be when maybe he just plays a little bit better but you could see how long he was taking on the <laughs> shot he seemed to walk around get down quick and then he was just taking forever cueing the ball and listen maybe it's been a long day maybe he's not quite fell at the races he's obviously cold so maybe he's slightly lost the plot in this match but now what a chance for the 61 year old 
from Malaysia to book his place in the last 32. What a story. Cue ball needs to slow down. He's not started off with a good shot there. He really hasn't. <laughs> he knows it. Could maybe bank this in the centre. I'm, I'm not saying he's gone out. I know he can pot it in the left centre. But where the seven is, it kind of looks like it's offering a big pocket. Oh, I see your point. It is. It is a little backboard there to make that pocket a little bit bigger. But if you can chop it in the side, yeah. I believe you should chop it in the side. And I think he is, yeah. They can see the overview. Oh, my word. <sighs> what have we seen here? What a chance he's had for the match. And he's only potted one ball. That was for the match to yeah. get through. Yeah. Yeah, what a miss that was. This is a big opportunity here to make this a 7-8 match. Well, he should have been out. He should have been put over to that loser's <laughs> qualification round there. He missed the ball and Ibrahim had a wonderful chance to qualify. Didn't manage to do so. Now it's 8-7. Yeah, and Dote Keen is breaking. <laughs> we got ourselves a match here. He knows as well. But he's still there. You've just got to keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, if you win a match like this, listen, you just forget about it. You're through, and that's that. <laughs> Ibrahim looks comfortable. <laughs> May still be kicking himself about that five ball, but... David Bala is 8-6 up over Tolian Han. Battle of the Singaporeans. I think that'll be bragging rights for months to come. Well, he's just got to fancy the job now if Ibrahim can't close the match out without last chance. He's going to be feeling good. It's a good break. Is the one ball going to keep tracking? Well, it's not. He's hooked. He's going to have to play a push and the push out is going to be awkward because the one ball is deep near that pocket. Well, where do you push to here? Where do you push to here? Could maybe do something with a seven ball. Roll it a little bit nearer the one or something. Obviously, we're just glancing at the table here. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have many options, does he? Maybe roll out into a, an easier kick. And then maybe just chance getting on the three. Is that what he's going to play right now? I think he's playing it now himself. Wow. Yeah, he could have he could have just tapped the cue ball a little bit closer to the, the seven, if you like, and then maybe give his opponent. Hmm, he's having a rethink on this one now. Yeah, giving his opponent the option of playing that shot, which whichever way you look at it is in a tricky spot. I don't know if I'd play it straight away, though. I think I'd rather play a little push. And then if they put me back in play it, I don't know why. 
Well, that's why. Because he's <laughs> give ball in hand up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if you just tap it, maybe let your opponent shoot that shot. I'm not saying he would shoot it, but maybe it's a bit of a mind game thing. The fact that I've got up and stepped up and just played it. I'd rather play the push and then you put me back in and then I get down and slam it in. That feels a bit better. Yeah, it does. But we, we saw a similar attempt where Ibrahim had the opportunity to, you know, go for the offensive shot, but he chose to tie two balls together, if you recall, right? I think it was the five and the eight ball, I believe it was tied together. You know, he had an opportunity to do the same here, but instead he went for the offensive instead of trying to lock balls together and make the run out a little bit harder. Um, I don't fault him for it because, you know, Ibrahim is on the hill, but I think I probably would have fancied going defense on that shot. He's missed a big trick here. Huge trick. He's put the cue ball where he put it, if you remember. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to float into the gap. What he should have done, he's played it a little harder and aimed the cue ball to hit the nine on that path. That way, you're not playing into that area. He couldn't fail then. As long as you hit the nine, you're on the three. And where the four is, you'd have been fine. Now he's left a tricky pot. This is more than missable. But he's managed to knock it in. Where's the cue ball ended up? It's okay, isn't it? It's okay. But he is queuing near the rail. Into the side pockets. You know if he catches one of the points. He probably won't fall. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Now he's just got to avoid this eight ball and make sure he could just leave the cue ball on that right hand side rail. Even if it bounces off an inch, you're okay. Don't start flirting with this eight ball to come back off and in the centre. He may do that, old school player. Oh, you see uh -oh. how he's flirted Ooh. with the eight? He's been fortunate there. <laughs> yeah. That could have been disaster. He knows he's just four balls away from moving on. Doesn't need to play this hard. Doesn't need to get the cue ball over. Yeah, there you see, just float it in. Mm -hmm. Take the bigger angle. Where the eight ball is, you should be okay. Yeah, I like that. Smart play. Not forcing it. Not trying to jam it into the pocket and trying to get perfect shake up on the seven. Just pocket the ball. This is as good as playing the nine ball. This, You know if you pop this, you've won the match. Wow. Well, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. This is... This is actually insane. <laughs> wow. I'm I not sure how, but Do Taekin <laughs> is somehow going to win this match, I'm convinced, and I just don't know how. Well, you, you said it. You know, that seven ball was as good as a nine, right? So maybe that was just a little extra pressure on him. Maybe he was thinking... Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. And sure enough, he missed it. Yeah, but I mean, you've got to get it to the pocket. That's, <laughs> like, that's like leaving a two-foot putt short. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's the last match of the day. It's winner's side action. And we've been wanting it. And it is finally here. This match between Ibrahim bin Amir and Do Tae Kien is Hill Hill and I believe we're going to have a timeout. Do's gone for a quick break <laughs> and I think we're going to have a break. Obviously you're going to come back after this short break yeah. to see who wins this one rack decider.
think you know Singapore? It's time to reimagine. You think it's all skyscrapers? Then what's this? And this. And this. And this. You think it is one island? Then what's this? And this. You think we're a city that never stops? Then what's this? And this. And this. Singapore. You think it's a country? A city? An island? Think again! It's so much more! You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA pool league today. Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit poolplayers.com today. We have a one rack shootout between Ibrahim Bin Amir, the man at the table, just checking the rack because he will be breaking. Carl, when we started this, I don't say when we started, how about about rack five or six? Did you imagine we'd go hill hill? Yes. You did? Yeah, I knew oh. this was coming. Two hours we've been playing. Johan Chua's probably showered and in bed. <laughs> he won his match in 30 minutes. There was a point when you said, if 
Dote Kian comes back and wins this, this game, he's going to end up winning the match. So here we are. Yeah, well, Ibrahim has had more than enough chances, so he can't begrudge whatever goes on in this rack, even if Doe flukes the nine, it doesn't matter. He's had more than enough chances to close this match out. It's fair enough. And he hasn't managed to do it, and this is awkward, is it? Because he can pop the one, but the cue ball, you just cannot get on the two ball, so there is no point. This is why he's playing a push. Yeah. So he's pushed out and left a little bit more of an angle. But it's still not a big angle, so... Gives it, it straight back. back. Yeah, why not? I think that's a smart move. This gives us no reason to believe he's going to slam this ball in the pocket. And I don't see him doing that either. How do you play safe, though? Yeah, it's going to be really tough to speed control to hide the cue behind the eight and not have the one sitting from the pocket. I mean, yeah, the safety is not, not, not an easy one. No, looks like he might be trying to come hide the cue behind the nine. He didn't quite get there. Still not a not easy to get shape on the two, even if he does pocket inside. I think he shoots this ball up the long rail. Oh, okay. I think you gotta go for this. Pot as long as you pot it, the cue ball's gonna come over. Yeah, I think he's looking at it. On Hill Hill, it's just one of those things where you don't want to be the first one to make a mistake. Just a quick update, David Baller and Torlian Han, they're still playing. It's currently 8-7 to David. So that's going to be another tight match. Is he going to shoot this ball up the rail? There's not a lot of other options. Safety looks tricky. Mm -hmm. I don't think he can pot it in the side. Even if he can, he can't get the cue ball out. So there's no value in that. Cross bank. It's hard to see if the green six is in the way. If the Green six is not in the way, and he feels he can get the cue ball to hit the top rail near that pocket. He may, yeah, I think that cross bank would go. So it is an option. He, he knows better than us because he's right behind the shot, so he'll know the path the cue ball is taking. So it's either pot in the corner or cross bank time. It kind of looks like he's going for the cross bank. He's, he's gearing up for it. Nope, he went for it all the way down. There's just so much uncertainty there, right? He took such a long time with that one. Wasn't really ever committed to it. Yeah, one thing's for certain. This man at the table won't be doing anything silly. He'll be playing a lock-up save to leave distance. Just like so. Two-rail kick. He's on. We know we should really hit this one ball. Where are they going to end up? Well, that's the unknown. Don't blame him for taking his time here. Yeah. Of course, you want to hit it hard enough where after the two rails, you do make contact with another rail. With either the one or the Q, which he does successfully. But gives Ibrahim a very nice shot at the one. 
more than capable of getting shape on the two. May have to play a little bump shot into the two. Wow. <laughs> he knew he got away with that one. Or you can do a bump shot into the five, hit the lip of the side pocket, and have perfect shape on the two. Yeah, it was just awkward because obviously he couldn't help run into a ball. So you're always taking a little bit of a gamble, but it would have been unfortunate to scratch. Can he close this match out? This is probably his third or fourth really good chance to win well like you said if he doesn't there's no one to blame but himself here because he's had many of opportunities I'd like to see him close the show here Scott <laughs> seems a little frustrated with himself, but he's got a good angle to come out for the six ball. Yep, just center ball, hit it hard enough to come out. Nothing fancy. Put a little bit of bottom on it, came off the side pocket apparently. Now he could just stun stun this and take the seven in. oh he's taking this time with every shot he just wants to make sure it's it's perfect because he knows how important this rack is hill hill can't afford to make any mistakes and give your opponent back at the table <sighs> so he didn't play a stun shot rolled it a bit forward and got off angle got off shape here a little bit he's gonna have to avoid the side pocket while pocketing the seven. Just making this rack a little bit harder than he needs to. Wow. <laughs> well, he's feeling this, isn't he? He's he really, sure is. This is just his style of play, though. This is where he plays the game. There's a lot of body movement. And mm -hmm. I think he put all the body movement into that seven ball fall and that's for sure. He just needs to hunker down two more balls and he advances. Whew. <laughs> Again, this is a wow. I think everybody in the whole arena is amused except for <laughs> except for his opponent. Everybody else is having a good time, including Ibrahim. Bin Amir, especially if he can pocket this nine ball, advance to the next round, which he does. Wow. Ibrahim Bin Amir somehow <laughs> finally gets over the line. What a character. <laughs> and what a match. Two hours and six minutes later, Ibrahim finally pots the nine to win 9-8 nine over Doty and Ken. He's through to the final 32. It's not the end for Dote again. He'll be back tomorrow in loser's qualification round.